Foster is for iPhone. It'll cost you $1.99, and every cent is worth it. So here is the app, and when you open it up, you can do two things, create new or go to your gallery. And so real quick here, here are a couple posters I've made before, but let me show you guys how to make one. Uh, when you go to create new, you're going to see a wall of posters. And so every poster, they have their own format, and they have their own typeface, they have their own layout. It works really well, and they have a whole bunch of designs. So whatever poster you're trying to make, they probably have a layout you know, just ready for you, a nice template. So here I'm going to pick one with some nice writing in the middle. That's what I want. So this one says forest. Uh, we're going to have to choose a picture. So I'm going to go into my camera roll. You can choose any picture you want. So this one here of uh, Ireland. We're going to just choose the layout. So I'm going to center this one right in the middle so that this, the buildings diverge and it leads to uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral, I believe that is in the background. So once you've centered your photo, you can go in and change all the the uh, words here. So we're going to change the copy. I'm going to make this a little poster for the Voto blog. So that's what I'm writing out. And on the bottom I'm going to write the official blog of Voto Studios. So that's our blog. So you notice that that white is really hard to see. I'm going to make the words a little bit bigger. And it's still hard to see so what I'm going to do is try and change the color. So you can choose from any color on this little bar. And that's still a little bit hard to see, so I'm going to change to maybe something bright. And that's even worse, so that was a bad choice. So I'm going to go back to white here. Right here. And what I'm going to do now is make sure that the words can be aligned. So I'm going to make these a little bit smaller and make them aligned with the, the little tag on the bottom. So I'm going to line them up so that they, the lengths are the same, you know. So for this picture, I'm going to bring down the brightness there. And you notice how the white pops a little more. And bring up the contrast just a bit. So that it'll, you, you'll be able to see the white words against my picture. So that's looking good, but we're not done yet. Once you hit next, you get a whole bunch more options. So here you're going to see it split. There you see split into all kinds of different um, options for backgrounds. Like you see here how the page looks folded. Um, right now you're going to see the image come up and now it looks like our image had been folded. So they have some really cool effects like that. Some of them are coloring effects like these stripes. Uh, one of them here actually splits it between a black and white photo and a color photo. So just to show you guys what that looks like, here it is. See the right is black and white, the left is in color. Kind of a cool effect, uh, but it doesn't work for ours. So here we have one where it has striped lines going down from you know from left to right they going down I kinda like that the striped look so we're gonna save that one and you can also share it the the poster lifts up and you have all the options there so if you go to gallery you will see our picture there and also you see other ones I've done before this one was uh, a picture of my friend's guitar and his website on the bottom. Um, we had sent that out through uh, Facebook to get the word out for a concert he was doing. So not only is this app fun to use, it actually could be helpful and it's very powerful. They have a lot of posters there. So if you want to see some other app reviews, click on an icon, uh, subscribe if you'd like, and peace.